Hey, it's Yolanda, editor of DryerBus.com. I called it right. I knew I would feel better after the theater. This being the day after the Zimmerman verdict. Uh, we had a late night. Everybody was up. You know, Twitter was on blast last night. So I had a late night. But I decided, hey, look, I got tickets to a great show. I'm going to the theater. And I came out today to see... Every tongue confess, and they after the play they had you know you go down and you, you have a meet and greet with the cast, and man did I have a great time talking with some of the cast, and I've seen them and as you know we live in Atlanta style stage by stage, so some of the people in this production we've seen a couple times in other productions, and I just really enjoy them, and they love the support, so you know you guys, let's go to the theater. Uh, don't miss it. some great shows. This one actually um, will be here to August 25th. You got family coming in town. You're always looking for something to do. It's so easy to see a play in Atlanta, and it's much cheaper than it is in New York. And I, as a matter of fact, uh, this was our second play this week. We stopped off, as you know, we saw Crowns earlier this week, I think on Thursdays, and that's starting Pauletta Washington. I talked about that on the podcast. And then, of course, this one today. And then don't forget, on Tuesday, I think Tuesday, or the 19th, I think we're going to see She, which will actually is contemporary ballet. Uh, I just kind of needed to get out. You know, it's been such a, it's been such a heavy day. And, uh, you know, I brought probably a little bit of it with me, but I just really wanted to let it go. And after the show, you know, having a great time with the cast and even the storyline in the show, uh, one of the things I always say is that theater is one of the uh, last art forms that's probably still true to itself. You know, what goes on on that stage, I think, is true to life. And it's conversations that we ought to have. And I wish we'd have a little bit more of those conversations in the audience. Uh, you know, it just it's just odd that we, we love to see it on stage and when it's very much part of our entertainment. But, you know, we're not bringing enough of that uh, into our life. This was a great cast. I'm going to pause and, and grab some the cast information. Cause I really want to tell you a little bit more about it. Because, hey, I saw one of my favorites here today, and I want to share that. So, hold the buzz. Okay, I had to put my glasses on. But I want you to Google the name um, Victor Love. And y'all are going to be shocked that he is on Atlanta stages. He is from one of our favorite. Let's do trivia. He has started, and you'll know him immediately from one of our favorite sitcoms from back in the day. And the person that he started in that with uh, is tearing up Atlanta stages. I'll tell you that much. Also, it was good to see um, Enoch, Enoch King. Enoch is in everything. Everything, every week, every stage, you will find, you know, I, and I asked him, I was like, how do you do it? He is so, he's such a busy man, so great to see him. Oh, my goodness, Bernadine Mitchell, as you know, she uh, tore up the stage in uh, The Gift of the Magi, which is a holiday production that is that happens in Atlanta, so it's good to see her. Brad Kurlander, y'all, I, I, I think I did a video, remember um, the story of Eshel, Eshelev, he played all the male roles in that production, so we had a chance to talk a little bit about But wait, here's the exciting part. See, I get it, y'all. I love theater, okay? Here's the exciting part. Remember the picture I shared on my Facebook? Uh, the picture of the fireman in the picture with Jasmine Guy? Well, he and Jasmine are putting, are coming uh, September 11th in a wonderful production. It's called God, The Guys, and it is about 9-11. He plays a fireman. I love firemen. He plays a fireman, and it's about a journalist and a fireman. And the, the I think he said eulogizing uh, some of the men lost, some of the firemen, some of the first responders lost in 9/11. That production is 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 underway. It's not underway, but it's in the rehearsal, whatever the stage, whatever they do. But that's coming 9/11. So September is really going to be awesome in Atlanta. So again. You got family coming, or if you want to become a theater lover like me, go to dryerbus.com and get the buzz behind the buzz. I got to get out of here because I'm sitting in the parking lot. We came out for intermission. The sun was shining. The play is over. Now it's rainy. I've got to go and find some dinner. Got to get back into my, my routines, my uh, errands. But, hey, don't forget, every tongue confess. And thanks so much to Horizon. They love us. Always get a wonderful invite to come out and check out the productions. Horizon is one of my favorites, and they, they do an awesome job. And they have nice long runs, so I love that. July the 17th, 
through August the 25th, uh, horizontheater.com. And of course, all their information is in our, our, our streams at dryerbuzz.com. I'm going to go and try to enjoy the city a little bit more before I call it a night. But you guys can spread the buzz right now at dryerbuzz.com.